Okay, I just want to make a quick update here to a video I did yesterday about my questions regarding the San Bernardino shooting incident and things that just are not adding up. I'm going to play back some dramatic footage that was uh, played by a lot of the media. Of course, the media today is reporting everything from, you know, that they are definitely uh, terrorists that have connections to uh, questions about their motives. And, of course, the left is spinning it for gun control. And the right's getting all hyped up about um, the war on terror. And I, my fear is that the entire event is a black ops manipulation in order to draw America into a World War III commitment into the Mideast uh, to engage where other nations are all being drawn in right now. Russia, you know, uh, a, few, a couple months ago, and now their conflicts with Turkey. Of course, we have Syria, Iran. And a couple of days ago, the UK authorized their bombing. Uh, last, probably about four or five days ago, the Germans decided to get in. Of course, a couple of weeks ago with the horrific event in Paris, France is all in. So um, my concern is how the military-industrial complex and global Illuminati or whatever forces you want to call them could be trying to draw our... Um, forces back in, and in order to do so, they need to get the public angst and uh, initiative going to commit our forces back into the region. And to do so, if you think it through, how are they going to do this? How are they going to get a war-weary America back involved? Okay, so t I put up a, a video. I'll put a link to it here. Just real quick, <clears throat> I want to, uh, again, show this footage and... Uh, talk talk our way through it here okay this is a individual a bystander popo. and in it you see he calls the popo the police out as he sees this entrance of vehicles following this suv the black suv we now know i believe it was a rented ford expedition and what is the suv doing i want you to pay attention to it okay this um, suv has its flashes on and there's no sign of gunfire coming out the windows back at the SUV. However, it was reported that the, the female was driving. She later exits the vehicle from all indications without any kind of weapon. And we don't really see what she was wearing. Um, and the, the male, is uh, Saeed Farouk, was apparently uh, in the back seat firing out the back window at the police. Which... As you can see, all of these vehicles should have had their dash cams on, and there should be footage available for that. Let's watch it as it rolls through first time here. Notice the flashers that are on. Notice this vehicle speed. Okay, the camera operator drops down. He's not sure what's going on. And for the first time, he says, oh, shots fired. He didn't, you can tell by his expression, this is the first time that, the, that he hears the gunfire. There's been no gunfire up to this point. Remind you, this is a couple who were supposedly well coordinated in their attack plan, okay, and they went home to their home in Redland, was parked there for three hours, waited until the place was crawling with cops, and decide to evacuate, make a run for it, and supposedly they're heading right back to the scene of the sh uh, shooter, of uh, the shooting. Excuse me. Let's listen. Shots rang out. First indication of shots rang out. Where are they? They're down here in this place, and apparently the SUV was blocked by other traffic coming from the other direction, so they had to stop. And then we hear this gunfire. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, they just shot at my house right now. Just popped a little yard. Holy shit. So they are back in the vicinity, only a couple of minutes away from the shooting location, and they have traveled approximately 10 minutes from their home in Redlands back in this direction. Right now. 
So you hear the fireworks, a lot of different uh, interviews of people from the street say it sounded like fireworks. There was obviously no intent whatsoever to take this couple alive. We know the woman had uh, fled the vehicle, was shot in the street, and she, her body lay in the street. She was driving. She was not firing. And so today's reports, the police indicated there were a certain number, about 150 shell casings found in the building itself. There were 76 shell casings supposedly found inside the SUV. Now, you just watched the footage of how that whole event um, went down right there. You saw the vehicle go by. There was no firing. The individual shooting the camera footage had no indication of hearing any gunshots until well after they, the vehicle had passed. They'd come to a halt, and then the hail of bullets. And in that amount of time, you're looking at probably 10 to 30 seconds before that hail of bullets would have put down any shooter inside or fleeing the vehicle outside. So in 30 seconds, 76 rounds, the weapon itself was identified. Here's the weapon. And if you want to Google search it, you can find the specs on the actual magazine. It's a 25-round magazine that's available in that book. There's no way, there's no way that a shooter could empty his magazines and switch out three different magazines, four different magazines, well, 76 if you had one in the chamber, possibly three magazines. But still, in that amount of time, probably 10 to 20 to 30 seconds before he would have gone down in that hill of, of, of bullets from the officers surrounding him. Again, this was a couple who were at home, at their residence, got word that uh, Saeed's name was out on the police scanners. They suddenly leave their home and where do they head back to the shooting location okay any smart uh, individuals who had this well coordinated well planned out uh, attack would have had a, a much different scenario for planning to escape wouldn't even abuse the same vehicle um, in their um, their whole exit strategy okay go back one more time and i want to leave you with this thought is this vehicle that's coming down the street do they appear to be fleeing the scene or with their flashers on are they crying out for help have they been pegged as a scapegoat set up and framed and realized how much uh, danger they were in and were coming and looking for help before being mowed down in a hail of gunfire oh, gosh shots right now oh oh my gosh guys they just shot at my house right now remember again as i pointed out in the video yesterday at the scene nobody identified them whatsoever did not identify a female shooter did not hear a voice and um apparently there were two shooters who are expert marksmen that walked through the building and we're mowing down people wherever they went. They we're well trained. Okay. Does this sound like a young couple with a six month old baby? Something that would be inspired um, simply by a workplace violence or even uh, spur of the moment terrorist um, all out uh, devotion to Allah? Something that they might be involved with? Seriously. Thanks for watching. We'll update with more info. I'm hoping I'm wrong. And again, I'm fearing that this is some kind of a black ops cover-up to draw America into World War III.